uh, Mark Cuban has announced that he is retiring from Shark Tank, but in 2025. <laughs> I have decided we're gonna watch some of his best and perhaps worst investments here today. Fiberfix is the world's strongest repair wrap. It is 100 times stronger than duct tape. Wait, this is just like flex tape. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, that's awesome, right? Incredible. The, the, the problem with this, and maybe they'll say this, is like, unless they have an um, incredible chemical patent on it, can't anyone make this and already has? Isn't flex tape the same thing, is it? You can't touch it with your bare hands. It's it's, it's really sticky. And you get that on your hands. It's going to be there for a while. You know, I'll make you an offer. Okay. Mr. Wonderful Very simply, in. I give you the $90,000, I take no equity. Every time you sell a unit, <laughs> 70 cents until I get the 90,000 back. Everyone else is bored as he monopolizes the time to ask for a royalty deal they never take. And what's funny is this is old. Like this is an older season, which means he's been doing this shtick for 10 years. I'll give you the 90,000 for 10%. Oh, he's just in? Straight in. 250,000 oh. or 18%. It's a better valuation, yeah. right? They Eric, who is the biggest buyer it. for this product? <laughs> Is a men or women? We believe it's probably. I don't men. think. Where do you think? Where do you think most guys? <laughs> Eric, I'm packing. There's a hog down there. Okay, I know. I know about men. <laughs> okay, you want to work with business with a woman? She's not gonna understand how this tape stuff works. But you know, I can immediately tell you he's yeah. wrong. Any, but... any shark, any shark can get that. <laughs> they're really bidding on this. Yeah. That's funny because I, I don't think really their products that the that good. But extend you a quarter million dollar line of credit as you need it. Bro, I mean, they can get a line of credit from a bank. They can loan them money if they're gonna get it paid back, guaranteed as a creditor, that's not. I think that women are going to want to put on the gloves and do <laughs> it. Damon, you know, <laughs> what year is this? Wait, they're really hammering Lori that like, women, women? This is 2014, this is even that long ago. It is $120,000 for 12% plus a $2 million line of credit. $2 million line of credit? Line of credit is just them borrowing the money and they're gonna pay it back. Like you can do it from a bank. The idea is they do it from her, maybe it's lower interest payments, that's it. But the problem is for her, you know, I mean, she's a millionaire, but tying up $2 million with this business, even if they have to pay it back, is scary. And now there's bankruptcy risk. Now they could go bankrupt, and not and not pay her back at all. And then suddenly, then she's out two million. He would actually. Be uh, they're nodding along, like, yeah, okay, okay, I get it. I love this guy's thousand yard stare, nodding along, waiting for Kevin to shut up. <laughs> Just like, bro, okay, I yeah, oh no, you're right. It would be a good idea to give seventy cents royalties and everything. No, that's cool. Keep all right. Thank you. Are we still talking to Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Because the infomercial route, the way you want to go. That's a very important component of this product. I'm out. Oh, they lost their first day one. No. $120,000 for 12%. I already said that. <laughs> okay. yep, you have a deal. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I've, definitely, I've definitely used that in thumbnail. That's like, oh, I didn't know that was from this episode. It's like, ugh, ugh, gross. Wait, I want to find out. I want to find out. What, what was the it's flex flex tape no that's the that's the, that's the much more successful one they began selling an ace hardware home depot lowe's within six years they grossed 50 million dollars in retail sales based on their margin they showed in this that's at least like i don't know the rest of their overhead but 25 million on the product and then they were sold to jv well i mean it, she made money on this for sure with a 120k investment so good I mean, Lori don't miss. I'm Amanda Adams. I'm Jason Adams. Amanda and I met a year ago on a blind date. We fell in love and got married within six weeks. <laughs> Blended our families together. And now we're expecting a baby boy. Six weeks? Combining we developed a product to save marriages and relationships. Met on a blind date. Both of them likely already divorced, right? Because they, they had kids already from previous marriages. Get married in six weeks, then make a product on how other people can save their marriage? That way, <laughs> what is your expertise? No one likes those we need to talk conversations. But they are necessary. We designed a product that allows you to visually tell your partner you have something to talk about. The elephant in the room. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much dumber than I could have ever thought. <laughs> this is a million times dumber. Did I ever expect it? Dude, Mark Cuban's just a gif. Mark Cuban is a human gif this episode. <laughs> He's collapsing at these pages. I simply remove the cover and reveal the elephant in the room. 
I immediately know that she has something she wants to talk about. Which <laughs> that doesn't solve anything. Oh, that's like such a passive aggressive way to have conversations. That's terrible. That is ter that is a it probably actively hurts relationships. It doesn't even get rid of the conversation, just it just puts a weird passive layer to it. It's like the we need to talk text, but worse. This might be like the worst pitch I've heard. I mean, uh, literally, there's so little substance here. Jason, what do you sell the elephant for? 59 is what we're looking at. $60? How much? We raised $100,000. Just our local friends. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be friends for long. You guys, the thing. There wasn't another way to get a clear plastic inside of a covered plastic. <laughs> there's no other way to display a 80 cent elephant inside a pl clear plastic there's no other way can't be done sixty dollars minimum i would buy that box for sixty dollars open it up and find a one dollar <laughs> stuffed elephant in it. it's going to be an unpleasant yeah one. that's bad well, for, like, and for that reason imagine Jason, imagine you're because you know the number one cause of relationship stress is financial trouble and so if you are a husband who's got trouble with his wife and you're like i'm gonna solve this by spending sixty dollars on this elephant then there's gonna be another fight. Like all you've got is buy some another fight. Oh, I think Mark the Cuban. product should be more expensive. <laughs> <You've> got... <laughs> okay, let him cook. <laughs> this is Mark Cuban's episode. Let's let's let him cook. There's nobody who needs corny stuff more than marriage counselors. Right. Is he gonna invest in this? I can't go in because you guys aren't where you need to be yet. There is huge markups in the wedding and divorce industry. Technically. If you were to make it as part of some sort of system or package, you know, with like a, a little guidebook, and now you get our special relationship system that also includes this little elephant totem that is part of what we do, then all of a sudden, you could probably charge a little bit more because you're getting, you're solving a problem. But as an item by itself, it's so obviously a scam that even desperate people will see through it. They are now divorced. <laughs> By the way, just a little update. They're now divorced. Uh, business didn't work out. I like to picture him just like <laughs> coming home one day, seeing that elephant and just calling the divorce lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> seeing the elephant for the 30th time. The elephant sitting on top of the papers. <laughs> Watch the elephant chat video. What's that? Link it to me. This is not our product. This is literally a $2 elephant but it is not our product. I gave this as a gift to my wife with nano magnets and felted the inside and the elephant never came out. So when we got to see the edited version, we were a little surprised that what happened was that we focused on this. This was a $2 elephant that we stuck in the glass shell just to represent how it actually works. Okay, but you didn't as get a deal though, right? We all got stuck on this. All right, all right. This guy's just rambling at this point. Was there any funny comments? The comments are turned off. <laughs> and I'm seeking $2 million for 10% of my company. $2 million for 10%? Our most popular attraction is the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride. Oh, wait, I've heard of that. That's very successful. Wait, the, the LA Haunted Hayride is very successful and big. I ran Clear Channel Los Angeles for 10 years. So my this is a, um, advertising I mean, this is cool. marketing. I, I feel like I'm a little bit biased because I already know it's successful, but like this pitch seems great, right? How is it that I am going to pay 20 for a $7 million business if everything goes right? Kevin, the idea is it might grow. If we they're really good at it, they might do more than just the two things. In LA who have already given us offers. This is about what they're valuing it. Why are you such a greedy pig? I <laughs> you asked the real question. She gave a real sincere business-like answer and then you called her a greedy pig gonna be tough to get the invest i think the, they wonder why Lori and mark eat their lunch you know what the horror show is listen to you argue about valuation all the time i am projecting for the new york haunted hair ride which hasn't happened yet because it's the same model in la we're just geographically it's a different model because it never rains in la dude shut the fuck up yes it might rain they have to shut down in a few days in in new york but <laughs> i feel you would take a really long time for me to see that back. I'm out. Broke talk, broke talk, broke talk. I'll give you $2 million <laughs> for 40%. Based on their current sales, that would be a downgrade. Like, what, what are you talking about? Okay. Um, two million for 20%. Wow. I'll take that offer. <laughs> <laughs> yep, easy breezy, I love it. Oh yeah, he jumped on it. He jumped on it because it was, 
pretty good at her original ask. Like, it was pretty good. Assuming they execute the way they were already executing and things keep growing, that was a pretty good deal. And then because of, <laughs> because of Damon's dumbass offer, I guess she f cracked and halved her valuation. And Mark saw a shot, dude. He's got $2 million to throw around. I mean, that turned out to be, I would assume, a pretty good deal because Hunt Hayride is, is still very much thriving. And that, my friends, is Mark Cuban's biggest investment in Shark Tank history. What happened to it? They brought in $3 million in revenue that year, then added New York. The New York Han Hayride made 36% more than the LA counterpart. In January 2018, they sold the company to Event Company 13th Floor Entertainment Group. We can't get a night exact number, I think, on their sale. Must have been a private sale. Good sh Big, big win for Cubester. One of his, his single biggest investment in the history of the show. And it came from him absolutely scroinking Damon. <laughs> We're seeking $200,000 in exchange for 20% of our company. With this financial meltdown, it's been <laughs> virtually impossible for businesses to get their hands on money. What financial meltdown in 2014? This is five years after the financial meltdown. It's very easy to get hands on money in 2014. Also, this feels like a Ponzi in some way. <laughs> the sharks are investing their money so they can invest in someone else. We have responsible business owners coming to us daily for similar- I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm not trying to be uh, Italian-phobic here. <laughs> this guy gives me major scammer vibes. <laughs> like, and from the way, it's a, it's almost like used car salesman-esque uh, sales pitch. So you use lending somebody money as a foot in the door to get their processing account. Okay. And I go to you guys and say, yo, Jason, you Jason, know, I need, what's up? I need a little bit of cash. It's always good when the sharks are making your pitch for you. Because <laughs> you didn't explain it, so they're like explaining it to the audience. Does Val end up at their door with a baseball bat <laughs> in the middle of the night? What's oh, he was hurt by that. I'm sorry. We're being Italian phobic. We're being phobic, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually, that's hurtful. And I don't appreciate the insinuation that we're anything like mobsters, even though we are using the exact same hairstyle and dress. I owned a, a decent sized mortgage company for about 10 years. That's why he thinks there's still a recession. <laughs> this dude was a mortgage broker post 2009. Oh God, dude. Yeah, you probably lost everything. There's an entire subset of small businesses that cannot get a loan. It, it's not a market for me. Even though there's a 400% return in less than a year, two years. <laughs> that's a pretty... If I wasn't already out, that would scare me out. That's coming out with crypto numbers. Is this some kind of mob? You can't guarantee a 400% return. When, when something goes wrong, they go to the deepest pockets. And I'd be your deepest pockets. For that reason, I'm out. Damon. I'm out. He <laughs> didn't even give a reason. <laughs> no, no, don't look at me. I'm gonna make the assumption that you were smart enough to get in front of me in Shark Tank that I should be your partner, but that will not happen unless I have 50%. Oh, Last second, it's a it, it, the business obviously is not gonna get any offers. Last second, you come in with a dog shit offer at the end. <laughs> And you hope they're so desperate for a TV yes that maybe you bake it. You know what I'm saying? I just happen to think I bring a tremendous <laughs> amount of credibility to this business and capital. He's like using the same tactics back on them. <laughs> it's almost like a taste of their own medicine. It's really a, a three-way sleaze off right now. <laughs> we gotta stop to thinking about it. It's, it's binary, Nobody? yes or no. Got a coin? <laughs> I'll let you flip a coin, that's fine. Heads with your partner, tails with your partner. You got a deal. The deal obviously never finalized. They did do the smart thing, which is what anyone should do on Shark Tank. If you got no good offers, take an offer, get the smile, get the shake, get the, the brand association, and then just cancel it later. Like the only thing I see is they've had a 500% increase in business since appearing on Shark Tank, but like the source is their website. They used the photo from Shark Tank to imply they are in a deal with him, but they are not. <laughs> which is extra sleazy. And they have all these logos of companies that like featured them or something. And then it's basically for desperate businesses to get uh, a loan. That was a great episode. Damn, that was an all timer.